it's time to glue the bridge to the soprano ukulele. Now, if you watched my tenor ukulele video where I did the same step, you probably noticed I had some problems. That clamp's not gonna work. I made a huge rookie mistake, and then I tried to use the wrong kind of clamp. It's not that I don't know better, it's that I'm cheap. I'm not gonna buy expensive bridge clamps. So today, I'm gonna share with you a very easy bridge clamp that you can make at home with stuff you probably already have laying around your shop. Let's do it. So the clamp we're gonna make is basically just our own version of a Jorgensen clamp or a wooden screw clamp, whatever you wanna call it. We'll have wooden jaws connected with a threaded rod and then another rod to put pressure on our bridge. Sound simple? Because it is. Before we get started, it's important to think about our constraints. The most obvious constraint on the soprano ukulele is going to be the size of our sound hole. The second constraint is the distance from our sound hole to our bridge. The third constraint is our bracing location. So this is everything we're gonna need. We've got some scrap wood, some bolts, some nuts, and some wing nuts. So we mentioned the sound hole is the number one constraint. Well, I know the wood I cut is thin enough to fit through the sound hole. Now the next issue is how far in this will reach. I can tell you right now, it's not gonna work. That's about all I can get. To get the exact measurement we need, all I'm gonna do is line up the end of this piece of wood with where my bridge location will go and then about two-thirds of the way into my sound hole, I'll make a mark. Looking back at those constraints, I have to remember there is a cross strut right below my sound hole. Now, that could vary from instrument to instrument. The important thing is the clamp needs to be able to reach underneath of that bar and reach up to the bridge plate underneath. Easy way to work around that is by gluing just a small piece of wood to our lower jaw. So now I'm gonna draw a hole for our bolt and that's gonna be right about at half the width of our bridge. Now I want to recess this nut into the upper jaw so that I can turn and control the bolt for better clamping pressure. Well, my microphone died while I was filming and I didn't notice, but that's fine because I've been meaning to try something new anyway. So as I fit the clamp down into the sound hole, you'll notice it kind of catches. And I can't have that. I don't want to mess up all the work I put into this ukulele. Definitely not at this stage. So the solution is just a chamfer on all the corners. That heavy chamfer on the leading edge of the bottom jaw helps me get in between the back bracing and the soundboard bracing. It just makes the process a lot more smooth, less bumping into things, that's always a win. Get my lower jaw and my upper jaw ready to go. I'm gonna use this bolt here to actually clamp on the bridge. To make that easier, I'm gonna use some scrap wood to make a quick knob. So we need to thread our bolt through the hole on our lower jaw. We want to seat the head of the bolt into the recess we cut earlier. We'll add a nut and a washer to make sure this doesn't move on us. I'm actually going to use a wing nut on both sides of the upper jaw. With our first wing nut in place, add our upper jaw, and we thread on the last wing nut. So the hole on the forward part of our jaw gets our last bolt. And we'll add this knob that we cut. Let me show you how it works.
the glue's had plenty of time to dry, let's take a look and see how it turned out. That went much smoother than it did for the tenor ukulele. Who knew having the right tool for the job makes life easier? Consider making it. Thanks for joining me.